Hey, hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. This episode is about Blade, the movie Blade, and the new recently released movie Black Panther. Now, in my mind, Blade was the first major superhero movie. Once again, Blade was one of the top ten top selling superhero movies. But here's the difference. Blade came out Blade One, because it was three three movies, Blade One, Two, and Three. Blade One came out in nineteen ninety-eight. And I'm sure I didn't do the math, but Blade Three probably came out ten years later. So when the Blade movies was released, they came out during the infancy stage of our current internet. Yes, I know the internet, I believe the internet originally started during the 1980s. Don't quote me on that. But the internet existed before the World Wide Web. So when Blade One came out, the internet was in an infancy stage. I think the internet or the World Wide Web really kicked off during like the early 1990s. I know it was definitely around in 1994 in its basic form. If you recall during that time the media franchise was nowhere near what it is today. So the Blade movies could nowhere, could never receive the hype that this current Black Panther movie got. Now Blade was popular but here's the big difference between Blade and the Black Panther movie. The Blade movie took place in the United States so Blade was a citizen of the United States. He was like most black people in this country lost and don't know about their background before they was ever brought to this country. Even though he had superpowers, he was strong, quick and fast, he still had the mentality of a typical African American male who don't know nothing about his history. And if you look at the movies, Blade did not seem like he was no scholarly guy. He was educated, he was smart, but he did not seem like he was a deep scholar who asked profound questions of like, why, why I'm here. He was not that type of character, but people loved him. He's the one who helped put Marvel comic on a map, but I don't think it was called Marvel Studios then, because back in 1998, I think Marvel Comics was still a separate franchise it was not associated with Disney. So, like I said earlier, Blade was the first top-selling black superhero movie. And I also heard that Wesley Snipes at that time, he was petitioning to become, uh, to make a Black Panther movie. And I heard that he wanted to become the Black Panther. I think he still would have made a, a fantastic Black Panther as well. But the current guy, he's even more good, better. Because Wesley Snipes, he doesn't seem like, when he played Blade, he did not evoke emotions of sympathy and kindness. This current Black Panther actor, he does invoke sympathy and kindness and care, even though he's tough. It's like he has more humility in him. Now, here's the difference between with the Black Panther. The Black Panther movies take place ex basically exclusively in Africa. I know there was a segment when it was chasing after the Claw character in another country, but the, ma the vast majority of the Black Panther footage take place in his homeland of Wakanda, which is in Africa. And I think that's why so many African Americans have made a big deal about this movie. Is not the pit. Blade is not taking place in the United States. 
nearly every Marvel Cinematic Movie has always taken place in the United States of America. Blade is the first movie that's all short. I mean, I'm sorry. Black Panther is the first Marvel Cinematic Movie that's taking place in another country. But that matter, most of Marvel's main characters, I mean, they all live in the United States. Very few Marvel top 50 characters are in another country. Blade, he's in that top 50 of Marvel characters, and he's in another country, which is Africa. That's why it impressed African Americans so much, because the Black Panther, he's not no American citizen. His thinking is not American. His behavior is not American. When they showed that Black Panther movie, you got we got to see how... I know it was a fictional movie. It was a fictional movie, so I can't say 100% portrayal Africa, but we got a glimpse, a small glimpse of what life is like outside of the United States and Africa, where basically every character or every person you will always see is black, which was like the case in the Black Panther. I know in the Black Panther movie, it was the first movie that I ever saw where it only had basically one white character. I think it was that FBI or CIA agent. But he was the only character who was not African in that movie. And that's a rarity. It's rare for African Americans to see act life in Africa without them showing Africa in a negative manner. Without them showing Africa going through strife and turmoil. In the Black Panther movie, at least in Wakanda, everything was positive and strong and mighty. It was showing black people welding, welding and mastering computer technology. The African people in the Black Panther had strong, strong family relationships. Even Killmonger near the end was softening and accepting his cousin T'Challa, the Black Panther. Even T'Challa was accepting his cousin Killmonger. I forgot his actual name, but he was learning how to accept him. So the Black Panther was a movie really about family relationship and repairing family bonds. Even though, even though the bonds may have been separated over decades, and dealt with family issues and repairing damage caused by previous family members. So again, the Black Panther movie show black Americans in a country or, or black people in a non-European country it show blacks ruling their own society without any European influence, without us receiving any money from the Europeans, without receiving any ideas from the Europeans. It it gave black American, black people throughout the world. And also it showed other nationalities like Asians, Hispanics, other people with a glimpse of how the African society is. It gives an idea of their strong family bonds. How much they pay great respect to their ancestors. So, if you all like my comments, leave a like. Uh, If you would like to subscribe for the channel for future content, please be my guest and subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed the Black Panther like I did. I only had one complaint about it. One complaint. Overall, I enjoyed the movie too because it was something different. It took place in a different part of the world. Not just here in, a, in America, United States. And mostly all Marvel movies, they take place usually in New York City. I think Thor 1 took place in a different location, but mostly Marvel movies of Marvel characters in New York City. So again, 
if you like my comments uh, my insights into the, the Black Panther movie and into the Blade movie leave a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe for additional content that I may uh, discuss in the future please subscribe you all have a wonderful day